Now I have a little, I guess, word on classical medicine to just show you what this is. But I, I'm going to make another video specifically speaking of what traditional medicine or classical medicine is in the, in the sense of how doctors saw the body before modern medicine was developed. Because today, now we see the body studying modern medicine, modern science. So that's the universal language. But before, there was also another universal language, but it was a little bit different because every tradition and culture had a separate understanding. But at the same time, they also had similar views in different ways and different words. And in this case, I'm going to speak about the five elements. But just to make it simple here, this is only the five elements are like themes of your body and these are spoken for lifestyle things, lifestyle changes that you should integrate if that specific element fits in your description of low back pain. So without further ado, let's see how they can help you. So classical medicine on back pain, say you have your back pain is from nerve irritation, specifically just nerve, like maybe you had a herniated disc pushing on the nerves, then that is the type of air or wind type of element being disturbed. So what that means is you need to rest your body and you'll see it underlined and bolded. That's the recommendation, the lifestyle recommendation to rest the mind and the body. And the mind, I also mean by meditation, um, taking baths that can calm you down and then keep yourself you know in a state of peace to say the least or uh, minimize stress as much as you can uh, if you if your type of back pain is based on inflammation and that could be from uh, DDD degenerative disc disease or uh, facet joint syndrome then that means that there is fire like that's what fire is this is a, the fire element imbalance where there is inflammation it feels hot or even obesity can contribute to this type of pain and this is where you just do the opposite in lifestyle changes you start in integrating anti-inflammatory uh, intake of foods supplements antioxidants and those are just simple fruits and vegetables and when it comes to water this is the synovial fluid so the ability for the joints to move if that gets compromised then proper nutrition and electrolytes like minerals and vitamins are things to consider because that can help to hydrate the rest of the body especially the back uh, earth if your back pain is based on the type of decay or degeneration, then it shows that the bone may be getting fragile. They may start falling apart, like we talked about osteoporosis. Then in this case, you're gonna need uh, proper exercise and movement. So movement here would be uh, basically making your muscles strong so it can protect the bones around you. And then essence, the space, this kind of talks about the reproductive aspect, but it also involves your social status or your social interactions with the outside world. So social support. So if your back pain could is something that you notice getting it worse because you're not seeing people or because you have some, some type of detachment, you know, it could, Sometimes we just don't know why we have back pain, even though everything else checks out just fine. So it's, this one is like an unknown, like not really sure why. Then perhaps you could try like mental, emotional support, like, you know, talking therapy, going in nature walks, uh, talking to a counselor, friends, family, like reconnecting again and see if that helps in any way, because again, Diseases are organic many times. Back pain is tends to be an organic issue. 
but it's not always 100% organic and by organic I mean based on the body itself so you know it's sometimes it could be other things so why not try it out